To do horizontal C scrolls, we're going to use a tip number 16, and we're going to think about doing a rosette, only instead of finishing it off as a rosette, we're going to finish it off kind of like a shell or even a reverse shell. In fact, you could almost think of this as two reverse shells that are curved towards each other. Okay, so you'll start off kind of like a rosette, only instead of bringing it all the way around, you're going to only take it halfway around and then extend the tail. And then to do the other side of the C, you're going to do the same thing going in the opposite direction so that they join up in the middle. To make the figure eight motion scrolls, we're also going to be using a tip number 16 and holding the bag at a 45 degree angle to the surface. This is kind of like doing the e-motion scrolls, only you're going to be doing one that's right side up, and then right after that you're going to be doing one that's upside down. And then to do it as a border or a continuous figure eight motion scroll, you want to just keep moving your tip. So again, just start off with an e-motion scroll and then practice doing an e-motion and then an upside down e-motion and then once you get the hang of that you can string a whole bunch of figure eight scrolls together. It's also important to remember that you want to have the tip above the surface. You don't want it to be dragging along the surface of your practice board or of your cake if you're piping this directly onto your cake. Remember you want to have the tip slightly above the surface and then you're kind of going to let the icing fall where you want it. And that's the figure eight motion scrolls. It's a pretty neat effect. For the colonial scrolls, we're also going to be using a tip number 16. And this is going to be similar to the C motion technique and also kind of a combination of the figure eight motion scrolls in that instead of doing one big center vine and then having these other ones branch off of it, we're going to pipe them in a succession of C motion scrolls. So you'll just start off with the first scroll and kind of release pressure on the bag as you pull the tail out, trying to make it so that when the next scroll meets up with it, it's um, you know, a consistent thickness, and this does take some practice. This is really just a combination of C motion scrolls and reverse shells. And so if you kind of think of it as such and build the colonial scroll bit by bit, as I'm doing here, it kind of all comes together and it works out. It is a very elegant technique. You could also use the same technique to do floral vines if you wanted to use a tip number three, which is a small round tip. And that way, instead of piping these colonial scrolls, you would be piping you know, floral stems.